Jack and Daxter is now native on PC and I'm going to show you how to set it up and get it running. It's super simple. First of all, all links are in the description and second of all, I'm assuming you already have a backup of Jack 1 in ISO format. If not, go ahead and find one or burn your own copy. But remember, it has to be the PlayStation 2 version. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and extract the contents in a new folder and move the ISO over into the open goal directory. Now the best part, all you do is drag and drop the ISO of Jack 1 and drop it onto the EXE file and you'll have a window pop up. Just give it some time as it needs to extract the game into a folder layout and then press enter and wait for the game to boot. Remember, drag and drop the ISO onto the extractor EXE. As you can see, it's that simple. And if you have a Steam Deck, you're in luck, because guess what? This works natively without needing the Proton Windows compatibility layer, and most of the steps are same as before, except there's a few differences. Fear not, as this is just as simple as before. And I'm even doing this from the Steam Deck desktop. First, open your web browser and go again to the link in the description. And this time, download the first link. This has the word Linux in it. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and right click it and extract archive here, auto detect. After that, right click and cut and paste it to the documents folder. You can even rename the folder like I did. Once that's done, go ahead and place the ISO in the same location and right click the ISO and hit open with other application. Hit browse and then documents where the extractor file is located and launch the game by clicking OK. It will look like nothing is happening, but give it some time and the game will auto boot by itself, which should take about 30 to 40 seconds. Once you've got that running, exit the game, delete the ISO. Now it's time to add the GK file as a Steam shortcut so you can use this in Steam Deck UI mode. Open Steam, add game, non Steam game, then browse. In the drop down bar, make sure it's forward slash, and then home, then documents and then whatever the folder it is your name. For me, it would be Jack and Daxter. And if the file is missing, just click the drop-down menu here and change file type to all files. GK will pop up. Go ahead and highlight that, click open, and then add selected programs. You can now exit back to the Steam Deck UI mode and the game will run fine. No compatibility mode needed. And yes, this works with a gamepad built into the Steam Deck. This is such a great recompilation project like Super Mario 64 got. Mods are coming including full on custom made levels as well. Not to mention 4K texture packs and other PC quality of life improvements. This is such an awesome project that isn't even finished yet. I hope this video helps anyone trying to get it to run or didn't even know it existed. And if you did but wondered if it'd work on Steam Deck, well now you know. This is Bio and I'm signing off. I hope you have a great night.